here and today we are going to be making some homemade paint um, and we are going to use that to do our fun mark making pre-writing skills challenge. So what you're going to need is some water, some plain flour or all-purpose flour and some food colouring. I'm going to be using blue and red today. So first step um, we are going to get one cup of water. I'm going to use this cup measure here but if you've not got one of those at home you can just use a regular cup as long as you use that for all of your measurements today. So first job let's get our first cup of water and we are going to pop this into a pot. Number one, there we go. Next job is we're gonna use the same measure to get one cup of flour. And we're going to add that to our water. Now, when you first add it in, it's gonna look very lumpy and gross. So what we're gonna need is a spoon or a spatula and we are going to mix it up until it is smooth. Okay, once you've got it nice and smooth like this, we are going to take it over to the stove. Now this part we're gonna need an adult's help for. And um, what we're gonna do is we're now gonna add three more cups of water to our mixture and we're going to heat it over a medium heat. So I'm just gonna get my three cups of water. One. Two. Three. Okay, we're gonna mix that in, give it a good stir. And we're gonna cook it over the medium heat until it starts to thicken and we should see it start to bubble. After about five minutes, you should see it bubbling and it should be getting quite thick. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to turn our heat down until it's a little bit slower and we're, we call this a simmer. So we're gonna simmer for one minute and we're gonna keep stirring it for the whole minute. You should be able to help with this bit as long as you've got an adult with you to help you. Okay, so after your minute of stirring, what we're going to do is we're going to add our food, food colouring we're going to cover it up and we're going to leave it to cool down until we can paint with it. Time for us to add the food colouring and cool the mixture. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this food colouring. So I need to put on my lab coat because I'm going to be doing some science today. I've got my lab coat here. See if you have something around your house. You could work to be a lab one is going to be some red food colouring so i'm just going to add a couple of drops at a time stir it together because you don't need much to see a really good color in fact i think miss manny might have put in a little bit too much i'm going to give it a good mix together until we've got something quite smooth. we're going to add some blue this time i think i might put a little bit less in just one, two, there we go. Let's give it a good stir. I think that was a better amount. Okay, so there's our blue paint. Now, this one in the middle, I'm going to add one drop of red and one drop of blue. I wonder what colour we're going to make. So, what colour did we make? We had red and blue and we mixed them together and made purple. 
red and blue make purple. Do you remember the shapes we were making last time? I'm going to do some finger painting with our homemade paints today and see if I can do some of those shapes. So we're going to dip our finger in and just like last time our first mark is a line down, a line vertically. Next I'm going to wipe my finger, I'm going to use a different colour this time. I'm going to use a blue and I am going to do our horizontal line. Oh, my blue is very light. Maybe I needed to use some more food colouring. Okay, our third shape is the circle. So this time I am going to use purple. This paint is really squishy. Feels so good to play with. Our next shape is an adding sign or a plus sign. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use one of our red vertical lines and one of our blue horizontal lines. Okay, next shape is the square. I am going to use red and blue again to show you the different lines we need. We need two red horizontal lines, so vertical lines. There's many getting mixed up there. And then we need two horizontal lines. Okay, next we're going to do some funny lines. We're going to do some diagonal lines. So I'm going to start with red. This one is going to go this way from left to right. And our next one is going to go from right to left. For our next shape, we are going to need one of these lines and one of these lines. So we start with our red line, right, left, uh, right to left, and then left to right to make a cross, or sometimes we call this a kiss. Now I am going to need one more piece of paper for my last shape. For my last shape, we are going to use three of the lines that we have already drawn. We are going to use one of these blue horizontal lines, one of these red diagonal lines, and one of these blue diagonal lines to make a triangle. So let me start with my red line. a lump of flour. This many must not have stirred hers well enough. Okay then I'm going to get some blue and go the other way. This shape's a little bit trickier. And then last but not least we need our horizontal line. And there we have a triangle.